large metallic flowers that are so pretty and good for any wall decor and I want to share with you guys how I made it. We're going to be needing sticks from outside, craft balls two different sizes, acrylic gold spray paint, scissors, A4 printing papers, pencil and a craft stick. To start off the project, we're going to be drawing out a flower petal on paper and we're going to be needing four different sizes. The second petal is going to be smaller than the first one. The paper is going to be folded in two for the third petal. It doesn't have to be perfect so it can look like real flowers. And for the fourth petal, the paper is going to be folded into four. I got this inspiration from GJ Creations. She has really beautiful designs for flowers, but this particular one caught my eye more. Now it's time to cut out the design. What I learned from Gigi Creation is that you have to cut a little bit more than an inch and cross it over just so that you don't have your flower staying flat. At least the flower is going to sit upright. Moving on to the fun part where you have to curl the edges. Now you can use a ruler for this, but my ruler is connected to a protractor which makes it really hard, so I had to use an old butter knife. <laughs> you just hold it tight and pull it out from under. And there we have our curves. Another alternative to the ruler or the old butter knife, you can use a craft stick. Anything with a sharp edge will do just fine. To finish with the petals, we're going to be gluing down the bottom that we're crossing over with the hot glue gun. I repeated the same step for all the petals. To make our flowers sit properly, I cut a circle and divided it into eight equal parts. We'll be gluing down the petals using a hot glue gun on each of the lines. Every flower after the first one is going to be overlapping the one before that and on and on and on until you get to the end. Now we're done with the first set of petals. For the second set, each petal is going to be glued in between two large petals. The third set is going to be glued in between the flowers also. If you want a much larger flower, the base or the circle that you cut out is going to be much bigger than the one that you're using just to get a very big flower at the end. These are the last set of petals and we're just going to be gluing them to make sure that they're evenly distributed. You're done with a large flower and I made two of them. For the middle of the flower, we're going to be cutting our craft ball into two and covering it up with black paint. This is the small one for the smallest flower that I'll be making and this is for the big one. We're going to glue it down to the middle after we've spray painted. I made two of them. Now these are the models for the smaller ones that I'm going to be making. Just so you guys will see how it's going to look like when you're making smaller ones. Using the same process but with just fewer petals in smaller size and shape. I'm painting the twigs from outside black also. Here are the flowers after they've been spray painted. I use command strips to hang all the flowers on the wall and a nail to hold on the branches on the wall to give an illusion like it's together with the flowers. I'm happy with this because it's a very huge large piece. I really love the way these flowers look on the wall. They give this metallic vibe and I love it. Let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about these flowers because this is one of a kind. I really like it. Just because I want to have my feel of the flowers that I'm really loving, I'm going to be doing a next video on the same kind of flowers but with a different twist. 
you can see how the sticks even make it look even better they look like they were actually together i mean this is the purpose of the whole reason you know for putting on sticks and it kind of looks like it was bought off from a store i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to like and share thank you so much for watching i have other videos linked in the description box below do check it out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button